As much as it can be painful to admit sometimes, there is a form of a grieving process to the loss of a narcissistic person within our life. Usually somebody who is very much still alive, there is still that grieving process, whether they are the one to disengage from you or whether you have finally ended it with them. And the five stages of grief developed by Elizabeth Kerber Ross, who was an American Swiss psychiatrist who came out with the Kubler Ross method theory for the stages of grief. Now, grief affects people differently and people can go through these stages differently and people can miss stages out. And these are denial, bargaining, depression, anger and acceptance. Now, when it comes to a narcissistic relationship, if they discard you or if you're thinking of leaving them, there can be a lot of denial that they're not that bad. It didn't happen very often. They're going to regret leaving. They're going to come back. The shock of what's happened, which can lead to us numbing the pain because of all the things, or the realizations that we come to and they hit one after one, we can then numb that pain. We can then start bargaining with ourselves again. It's not that bad. It doesn't happen very often. If only I hadn't have done this, which helps with the narcissist gaslighting, we can hold on to that hope and we can begin to do anything to get them back. We can feel guilty when it comes to going no contact and bargain as to why, bargain with ourselves as to why we shouldn't go no contact. Then there's the depression. Now, not all mental health is being depressed. There's depression that can hit from the situation you're living where you just don't want to get out of bed, where you don't feel like you've got anything to live for, where you don't feel hungry or where you come for eat or where you reach for the alcohol to numb the pain again and then there's that anger when you're looking for revenge and once you've processed that becomes the acceptance the radical acceptance of who they are and everything you've lived through in the anger you can go through stages of bitterness and resentment and look to punish them and you can cycle around them until you get to the acceptance of who they are as a person and move on for a healthier life for you.